All right, family, back up in this joint. Oh, man. Yeah, this is about Terry Crews. He's, they, they, they're they thinking that he's hitting about some things that happened at one of Diddy's parties. Um, I don't know if I want to do this or not, but I decided to. So let's just look at it and see, uh, to see exactly uh, what he is saying about those parties. But you know, he got approached and groped uh, a few, a couple of years, I think it was a couple of years ago now. And um, it was a big deal. I think it's around the Me Too movement type of stuff. So um, let's just hear his story, hear him out. And uh, of course, we'll, we'll comment on it. And uh, you guys in the comment section, let me know what you think. But if you're for the first time, please like the video. Please subscribe to the channel. Love to have you join the family. And let's get it started. Salt lasted only minutes. But what he was effectively telling me while he held my genitals in his hand was that he held the power, that he was in control. In recent months, Sean Diddy Combs has come under intense scrutiny, as have other major players in Hollywood. Allegations against powerful figures have spread like wildfire, with executives facing both civil and criminal charges. Among them, Diddy has arguably suffered the most dramatic fall from grace in recent memory. Each new revelation appears to sink him deeper into scandal, and fans worldwide are beginning to wonder how they missed the signs. After all, back in 2016, actor Terry Crews came forward with his own story during the Harvey Weinstein revelations, subtly hinting at disturbing patterns in the industry of an alleged men's club preying on the new people in the industry, including Diddy's rumored fixation with controlling young male talent. If even a former NFL linebacker like Terry Crews, standing at 6'4 and weighing 240 pounds of pure muscle, could be victimized, it raises disturbing questions about what young aspiring artists may have faced in the hands of industry mentors, particularly under the influence of someone as powerful as Brother Love himself. In 2017, Terry made a shocking revelation in a series of viral posts on his Twitter account, sharing his personal experience as a victim of SA. At the time, the Me Too movement was at its peak with a flood of allegations surfacing against- Let me ask you guys something. Do you guys be, um, think that this may have been I hate to say staged. I mean, because they do, they put everything in front of us for a reason. And this is predictable programming. Everything that is in front of us is on purpose, to be very honest with you. And if you don't know that, um, now you do. And um, I'm just thinking that um, as we go on in this, 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 this little um, documentary that she's put together here, which I appreciate her for, the names that were put out uh, were really specific, and I didn't really, um, I got like a little, a little tingling feeling about that. I don't think that was genuine. It's Harvey Weinstein, who was rumored to have connections with Diddy and allegedly attended some of Diddy's infamous parties. Seeing the stories of survivors emerge, Terry Crews found it impossible to stay silent. In a vulnerable series of posts, he disclosed that a powerful Hollywood executive had groped him at a party just months earlier. Although he didn't specify whose event it was, rumors began to swirl with many speculating it was at one of Diddy's gatherings. In one of his tweets, Terry said, this whole thing with Harvey Weinstein is giving me PTSD. Why? Because this kind of thing happened to me. I understand and empathize with those who have remained silent, but Harvey Weinstein is not the only perpetrator. Many found Terry Crews' claims hard to believe with critics questioning how such a physically imposing man couldn't simply fend off in advance. But Terry explained that despite his strength, he felt utterly powerless and violated, fearing the consequences of standing up against someone so influential in the industry. The backlash pushed Cruz to share his experience in a revealing interview with ABC News, where he laid out the full story and might have even hinted at Diddy's questionable behavior behind closed doors. I was by Adam Bennett, who was the head of the motion picture department at William Morris Endeavor. In that interview, Cruz openly named his abuser for the first time. So, by him opening up and actually saying a name of what they say is a very, very powerful player in Hollywood, it must have been something against Adam. I, mean, I just don't see that happening because I was very surprised at Harvey Weinstein and all those guys. But, you know, even Bill Cosby type stuff comes out against these guys. And um, I think it's all planned, planned 
and on purpose. Um, the reason I say all this is because Terry Crews went on to continue to have a very, very, very lucrative career in spite of pointing out somebody at the boys club. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, how do you, you know, because a lot of times that don't happen. It does not happen at all. So let's continue to hear the story. Adam Bennett, a top Hollywood agent with a client list unmatched by almost anyone in the industry. Bennett wasn't just any agent. He wielded substantial power with the ability to make or break an actor's career with a single phone call. You're talking about a very, very powerful man who has access to studio heads. What they do affects every part of the business, from producers, writers, mm -hmm. actors. Uh, they own finance companies, the whole thing. And get this, Adam Bennett was a reportedly a regular at Diddy's infamous party. Terry's account of what happened to him is very similar to Diddy's own behavior, making it hard to ignore the parallels. The most shocking part, Terry had never even met Bennett before this encounter, yet the agent boldly approached him with inappropriate gestures, quickly escalating to a physical attempt to grope him. Did you know him before the party? And I did not know him. I heard of him. We had never, ever even had a conversation. He looked me in my eyes, and he was sticking his tongue out, overtly me to me. I mean, it was no mistake that this was a, a, a type tongue move. And I'm going, and I'm thinking it's a joke. I'm thinking, is this how this guy breaks the ice? I don't understand what this is. Confused, I mean, what Cruz said he reached out to shake his hand. I reached my hand out, and he he takes his right hand and under mine and immediately squeezes, grabs my genitals, and just and I'm jumping back, like, hey, hey, hey. The fact that Bennett targeted Cruz, a well-established actor, not an up-and-coming star looking for connections, sent shockwaves through the industry. People began to question what Bennett may have done to those who felt they needed his influence to advance in Hollywood. Terry went on to share that even after he loudly protested, Bennett didn't back down. He attempted to grope him a second time, showing just how untouchable he believed he was. And he go, and he still, and he jumps back, and he still does this tongue stuff, and he's making Maybe weird noises, and then he comes back again and grabs me again. And I, I slap his hand away, push him back more forcefully, and I'm like, what are you doing? The most unsettling part of the story, this entire incident happened right in front of his wife. Bennett, fully aware of her presence, seemed unbothered, assuming that neither of them would dare challenge him due to the massive influence he wielded over Terry's career. It's a chilling example of how power dynamics can paralyze even the most imposing individuals. So she's witnessing the entire thing. She's witnessing the whole thing. And we're just, not, I, I cannot, I can't even begin to describe to you how bizarre this is. It's, again, it's so bizarre. I wake up every morning like, is this, is this a bad dream? Mm -hmm. Cruz addressed critics who doubted his claims or questioned how someone of his size could fall victim. He explained that while he was furious at Bennett's behavior, his wife had to remind him of the severe consequences he could face if he retaliated. She understood that one wrong she move understood. could mean the end of Terry's career. And in a moment of heartbreak and restraint, they chose to remain silent to protect his future. But that's that's what I do not understand. I, I think with his story, I never understood um, how they let him, how they let him um, come out and give Adam up. Even his even his wife knew that he did he needed to just back away and just go. You know what I'm saying? Don't say that right there to there. But how did it, how they allow him to come out? You know what I'm saying? Because. You're not your own person in Hollywood. Now, Terry has a really, really illustrious career. He's really good career, actually. And uh, he's had to be in some compromising positions to get that. It's just, it's just the way they roll. There's no getting around it. There's no innocence there. The innocence is shed as soon as you get success and, and get fame. So I wonder why they let him do that. Adam must have fucked up somewhere. <laughs> because, or, or, or it could be Terry's um, initiation or sacrifice of humility because they do humility rituals as well, too. So it could be a humility ritual um, right in front of us. You know what I'm saying? So, and uh, let me see here. Let me see if I can look up something real quick, guys. Hold on for two seconds and I'll get back to the video. I promise, I promise, I promise. Just stay with me. Stay with me. Stay with me, sis. Stay with me. Stay with me. I can't type, but hey.
to figure it out. Uh, 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 never mind. Let me let me uh go ahead and keep on with the video and um here it is, here it is here it is sorry. All right, so uh the ritual humiliation can serve to enforce a particular social order or emphasize the group <clears throat> takes uh, precedence. Oh, I hate what the thing does this over individual members. Many tribe societies feature complex initiatives, initiation rites designed to diffuse the threat of pose and fit by for a young man, blah, 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 blah. Um, to cultivate uh, over humility, one can pray on it, pray for it. I can't read today, guys. One can pray for it, accept humiliation, obey, blah, 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 of superiors, blah, blah. So, yeah, I, to me, this is that. A humility ritual, and they do do that. Uh, I don't want to carry this video too long, but, um, that's kind of what I think it is. If you guys think something different, let me know. Yeah, so let's let's continue, guys. Continue, because I just, I just don't see them allowing him. The reason I say it because he's on uh, America, America AGT right now, greatest talent, America's like greatest talents. They're doing well, and he's been doing well since this as well too. And they're allowed for him to be allowed as a black actor to name. I hate to put it in gender, in, in race, but but I'm not. I'm not. not Let's put it like this. An uh, actor through a powerful exec source. To be able to say his name and, and out him, some, something might have messed up somewhere. Or it's like a sacrifice that he had to do. Former NFL linebacker, 6'3", 240 I mean, pounds, just muscles everywhere. How could he be a... That plays into the total stereotype of black men I felt nothing but rage, rage, Mike. But my wife prepared me. She said, Terry, you cannot handle these kind of things with violence. You can't hit back. Because if you hit per people, and if you do this stuff. If someone like Cruz, with his size and established career, felt forced into silence, what chance would young, naive artists have against powerful figures like Diddy? I know how close I came to losing it all. Just. When you get emasculated like that, and I, I don't, when I tell you the way he looked at me, the way he giggled, it was it was one of those things where he was like, "Hey man, you know, no one's ever gonna believe you." It's undeniable that the reality for victims back then was a world apart from what it is now. For years, Hollywood's powerful executives seemed untouchable, but with Diddy's recent indictment, it feels like the floodgates have finally opened. In many ways, Terry Crews warned us about this moment years ago. He alluded to the fact that there were others just as powerful as Bennett. First of all, this whole thing, from Weinstein to all what's happening in Hollywood, is about an abuse of power, an abuse of the position you have. And what happens is they have fooled everyone into thinking it was part of the job. Cruz pointed out that this kind of exploitation had been normalized for so long that many... But we know this now, of course. I mean, it's public. It's, it's beginning to be public now. It's because of uh, people speaking out. Um, but that industry, you're only allowed to do so much. Even with people speaking out, they're not speaking out um, like when it just happened. They speak out maybe years later, or it's almost like, all right, it's almost a timeline. All right, at this point, if this person don't do X, Y, Z, we're going to... Um, you know, release this at this particular time type. I just don't see um, Terry being able to do all the things that he's doing, or did, 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 um, as far as out, ousting this guy and stuff, uh, without any backlash. Beyond that, his career has been super dope. I mean, he's been going on to do other things, you know what I'm saying? So I don't, I don't know. I just don't believe the media. Media hype shit up. And then have you believing that everything is all roses, but when they're doing the right thing, and it's really uh, propaganda and an agenda behind it. So that's just my, my opinion. But if you guys have a different opinion, of course, let me know. I mean, I'm open. I'm open to being corrected, and I'm open to um, and new ideas and different thought and mind processes. Young talents felt pressured to exchange their dignity for a chance at success. His warnings might have seemed extreme to some, 
But when he took the stand to testify in front of the Senate committee, things started to change. This public testimony became a turning point, one that finally led people to take his claim seriously and recognize the larger, darker reality of Hollywood's culture. This past year, we have seen powerful men in Hollywood and elsewhere finally held accountable for and assault. We also saw the backlash survivors faced after coming forward. I wanted these survivors to know that I believed them. I supported them and that this happened to me too. This encouraged me to come forward with my own experience and reflect. This same pattern emerged with Diddy's case. Alleged victims began coming forward only after Cassie, Diddy's former partner, took a courageous step to publicly accuse him of heinous acts she claimed occurred throughout their relationship. Her decision to call him out despite the risk triggered what is now a criminal investigation, arguably one of the entertainment industry's most scandalous cases to date. It took years for people to piece together the full picture, leading many to speculate that the only environment where such acts would be openly displayed had to be a Diddy hosted party. When the Senate committee asked Cruz the same burning question everyone else had been asking, why he hadn't reacted on the spot, he gave them a raw and eye-opening answer. Thank you. You're a big, powerful man. Why didn't you? Be Senator, I this month, <laughs> I try to hold my tongue. I might be like Tasha K, so I drink some wine. Um, actually, it's coming. Um, if you guys notice that each time somebody asks him about his power, how big he is, why he just basically ripped dude head off. That's that the power is not in the strength. The power is, is in the influence. This guy potentially could cause him to lose his livelihood. He says he has a family. So it's certain things he could do or could not do. Of course, if you did if he wasn't with the advances, you shrug it off. You get you get out you get out the way. Well leave the place. Uh but he's got to do it in front of his wife, as Terry says. Uh, is definitely a total disrespect. So he definitely had to make sure that he held his wife kept him, kept his head calm. So I guess I guess my biggest thing is like um, being able to come out and give a name and a face to all this and be allowed to do all that and still not be affected. You know what I'm saying in the industry and not uh, blackballed, which is. Monique and other people got blackballed for way less reasons, <laughs> which is uh, this this dude is AP is reporting on this. So this is to me this is and that Me Too movement back in the day an agenda, and this was something they ran with and they allowed. You know what I'm saying? Why they allowed it? I mean I don't know. I guess they feel like they kind of had to allow it because it did happen. But uh, just be speculating, you know. So it's it's all it's all conversation. So. I don't know. Hell, is this is it, this is for entertainment purposes only. Trust me, entertainment purposes only. Um, but it's just you know something to think about. So let's, let's continue, guys. As a black man in America, black man, <sighs> say it as it is. I think it's important. You only have a few shots at success. You only have a few chances to make yourself a viable member of the community. With so many shocking revelations unfolding, Hollywood's powerful elite are beginning to crumble, and this may just be the start of an industry-wide reckoning. So if you don't wanna miss any updates as the truth unravels, subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for fresh, breaking stories straight out of Hollywood. All right, uh, shout out to this channel. I'll put their uh, link in the description below. So what do you guys think, man? Do you guys think that, uh, do you think that it was all right? I mean, I, mean, I don't know. I don't know what to think, to be honest with you. I just thought it was interesting. So, um, they tried to link this interview with Diddy's parties and, uh, hinting, but a lot of these, um, channels, well, I don't want to say that. I'll, 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 I'll restate, I'll, I'll, I'll refrain from saying the things I wanted to say in that aspect. But um, I, I'm still curious at how he was able to to continue to thrive after 
really exposing a, one of the pow one of the powerful entities in Hollywood because that that doesn't happen on a normal basis. So, anyway, man, we gonna go on to the next next video. I pray you guys are doing well. Please like the video. Please subscribe to the channel. Please any commentary comments. Please feel free. The comment section is wide open. I promise. And um, if there's anything you guys want me to react to. Let me know. I am still a young channel, um, gathering my footing in the reaction world. We we adjusted, so hopefully you guys will like this content, and I'm gonna continue to bring it to you. But much love to you. Let me see you beautiful people next time. Peace.